Can you make a Chris Doe one? Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm canning, right? I am now Chris Doe. That's the most I've seen Chris smile before. And most hair I've seen. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> What's up everyone, today I'm talking to Mr. Frank Shi, and we're gonna teach you guys how to create your own snap lens. That's right. And uh, for the people who don't know who you are, Frank, introduce yourself and let people know what you do. Sure, hi everyone, my name is Frank, I'm co-founder at Paper Triangles. We do um, immersive interactive content for brands. Um, and we're also part of the Snapchat of official lens creators and lens creator partner program. So I'm really excited here to share with you guys a little bit of what we learned in Lens Studio and how you can make your own Snapchat lenses. And the reason why I'm bringing Frank on is because uh, we've had him on the show before and I wanted to introduce you guys to thinking about how to design and create in a new space. Right, so AR and VR could look very daunting. It's a new emerging technology and has been for the past couple of years. But I think after this tutorial, you're gonna realize it's not that painful and it's gonna be very easy to get into it. So let's go in the other room to check out some of the lenses that uh, Frank has made. That's good. Right. So this is one of our client lenses. It's for their Snap original show called Van Life. It's like a realistic van that we can teleport into. And we oh, can see whoa, like oh that's crazy. Yeah, we can see all the kind of like things that we built and you can teleport into, you know, different aspects of it. So you can see the front, you can see all these van in here. That's really like crazy. All, you can tap and tell to go to this bed area so you can see what's in here. And there's interactions, right? So um, this is like a ukulele, it plays like an audio. So making music together. Wow. That's really immersive. I didn't know that you could have so many uh, portals and stuff like yep. that. And this is a portal kind of like showing that. And then that's this is just for the show kind of like building off of, you know, oh, you can see the deeper um, reality or deeper world that the show is built on. Uh -huh. And we build these portals to kind of extend that. So this is the second one we want to show. This is called so sky segmentation. So you can see there's no wow. real fireworks in the back. But what it does is cuts out perfectly where the sky would be. Uh -huh. So it's like a 360 view of fireworks and it's like playing. So it's doing a sky replacement. Yep, so it's wow. like green screen real time. Right. Yep. Dude, yeah, that's amazing. Yep. And then next we'll show kind of, I'll show um, another lens we did, which is like... <laughs> so you can get one too. <laughs> so these guys are more fun, right? They're for like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. So you can like interact and like... Is this, one, is this one called Clients from Hell? <laughs> No, it's called Scorch, Ooh. but that's funny though. No, you gotta hire me. I'll be your copywriter for Copy all of writer the, for this. So smart. The titles. And then the last one I'm gonna show, this is a, one of the kind of ones that we did to prove to Snap that we were pushing the kind of like pl uh, the platform because not everyone was doing 3D portals at that time. But we can't mm -hmm. really we have to move into it. But so what happens is like we're making this like different world that taps and mm -hmm. triggers into this vapor world aesthetic. This is the first time we did a portal on this like photorealistic level. Wow, that's super cool. So you step into the portal or the, the mirror there. <laughs> yep. And this is all done in Cinema 4D and, um, wow. we, and textured in Substance. Uh huh. So all these tools are pretty much you know available to you and you can use any kind of like 3D software to approach that. That's amazing. So you pre-built it in Cinema 4D and then you brought it into Snap Studio Lens. Yep. And all portals are pretty much like that. And that's why we like, all portals are very big in the Snapchat world because it's very uh -huh. immersive for brands to go and engage and you know, look around and it's, it's, a, it's the thing that brands want the most, actually. Really? Yeah, portals. portals, yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, I think this is good examples for people to understand how they could possibly use this. Sure. Let's go back in the studio and show people how we can make one. Sounds good. Cool. Let's do it. So we're back. It was pretty cool to just see some of the stuff in a brighter room of how uh, Frank and his company has made all kinds of different AR lenses in Snap Studio. So hopefully that will give you guys an idea of the things that are possible when you create and design in this space. So when you go to lensstudio.snapchat.com, you download the software and you pop it open, you'll see the first thing you notice are templates. Um, Lens Studio does a great job of creating easy templates for you to base your project on. So we're gonna use one that's the most basic, that has no additional elements, that only uses the tools provided to you by Lens Studio. And the one we're gonna use is called Distort. So when you open Lens Studio, if you ever use any 3D software, uh, it should be pretty familiar, but if you haven't, I'll kind of break it down for you. So on the left-hand side is all your resources and objects panel. So on the bottom is where you import your additional resources if you have any. 
and on the top is your objects panel. This is where you import um, assets, you know, that's already imported into the Lens Studio kind of like perspective, so you can use as an uh, uh, as an object to use the Lens Studio. In the middle is your perspective view. This is where you move around and see your um, your creation in 3D space. So a lot of you who have used 3D software pre will translate that kind of language over. But if you haven't, all you have to do is press Alt and left click to move around. You know, Alt, alt a middle mouse to zoom, right click as well, and then W to move, um, E to rotate, and R to scale. And it's pretty universal for most 3D programs, so if you've spent any time in any 3D software, you're gonna recognize all of these shortcuts yep. right away. So now we kind of get into, it. on the right-hand side, you have your inspector panel. Inspector panel really is the detail of each of your objects. So I selected this face inset, and you can tell that you know the face region is covering its mouth and etc cetera, etc cetera. so they will kind of go into details in a little bit on the right hand panel is your preview panel so this is where you can see your lenses happening in real time so um, you can see on the here that my face is distorted right now i got a really big mouth and like big ears uh, big eyes right <laughs> like puppy eyes almost uh -huh. um, so these are kind of the panels we have in lens studio and the really easy way to push and see your product is to press this button on the top right hand corner um, it's called let's push your lens so what it does is when you press it it'll push to your phone so i'm going to press it and it'll send the lens to my phone for you to preview and see it on the actual true native platform and what you have to do here is when you click it so i have mine already linked so when you click it it'll tell you please scan the code. So you just press and hold and it'll process and link the software to your phone. So now we can see we have um, this lens. Ah, let's distort um, my phone. Okay, so we have it connected. Um, now we're gonna try to make another version of this distort without importing new assets. So on the left-hand side, you have all this kind of objective panels. You can see on the top, we have the camera. The camera is what tells you uh, that it's looking at the phone. So this is what comes with every lens studio template. So I would only, mess with things that says edit me. And this is what I love about Snapchat. It tells you what to edit and what don't to edit. So what we're gonna do is edit some of these um, deformers. So on the top, you can see all the effects that we have. So these are distortion effects. So if we turn them on and off, you can see like my eyes mm -hmm. changing and then we're gonna keep them on. So I, I like this eye one. I like eyes are always cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take both of these eyes, right? There's both of these eyes. Right? And I'm just gonna make them a little bit bigger. Like, I want bigger eyes. So I'm gonna double these eyes. Right? <laughs> I love these shorts. <laughs> uh, sorry, you'll see this on the B-roll, but this is, where, this is where the fun begins because you can really see the live panel, what's happening, mm -hmm. and... That's cool. <laughs> well, I'm like, really really i'm sure you can have a lot of fun with this yes. endless hours endless hours so now um so i'm gonna change this face so i'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to change things so in here you can see we have a face inset so what it does is it takes an image and a um, recording of your face and makes another one that's separate and puts it on top so it's kind of like replacing your old face right right so what i want to do is i don't want to change my mouth i like the mouth with this but i want to have like more eyes so I'm gonna take this and put it as my left eye. So you can see now I got a oh, mouth, but on an eye position, right? So, but I don't really want it on my eye. I still want it on my left eye. So what I'm gonna simply do is just drag and drop. Can you just give yourself third eye vision and put it right in the yeah, middle? Okay, I'm gonna do this. So there yeah, you there you go, Matt's suggestion. So I have a left eye. Frank is enlightened now. I'm, I'm enlightened. That's what we're look gonna call this. this filter, this snap lens. Look, look at this lens, enlightenment. enlightenment. That's right? right. So now I have three eyes. So in that point, you just created a new lens with the template that it came with you without creating any new assets. So, I mean, it's, it seems like Matt really likes his three eyes, you know? It's like, it's my new my new thing. It's probably it's creepy look. for some people. And I'm, I'm sure there's a phobia around this. Yeah, Sorry for you glasses, guys. So if you tell my glasses, it's actually better yeah. because uh, it tracks your frames. So like for anyone who uses glasses, take them off and see what it looks like really. Oh, right. Oh, that's really creepy. Okay, so I, I like this. I think it's kind of a little weird and creepy. I, I feel enlightened and I want to push it and I want to share it with my friends, right? So back to, back to Lens Studio. So to publish and share Lens to the community, all you have to do is click Publish Lens on the top left-hand corner, right? So when you click that, it prompts to um, your My Lenses panel and it prompts you to share the lenses either two ways, sponsored or community. So sponsored lenses are mainly for 
brand and brand activations. Um, but for you guys, mostly we'll go into the community lens. So when you click that, it will give you another panel that says, okay, I'm gonna either submit or update existing, right? So I wanna submit a new lens. So you can tell that uh, my lens is called Distort, which is the, um, the template's name. Mm -hmm. And underneath there's the lens tag and lens preview. What lens tag is, is that you can add a descriptive tag that kind of categorizes your lens. So for example, this one, I would say like enlightened or something. Or yoga. Or yoga. Or meditation. Or meditation. There's a great tags. And if someone does search that, there's a potential for them to see your lens, right? Right. So I'm gonna add a tag. I'm gonna get yoga. <laughs> Perfect. And then a preview is just a preview of uh, your lens. So you can take a selfie image and upload that. So when someone come across it in the community lens, you'll see the video, video of your lens before you actually get to um, click on it. So someone can see it. If they like it, they'll interact with it. Now, and all you have to do after that is press submit. And what happens in the back end is that Lens Studio um, does a little bit of QA and process, make sure you're according to the guidelines, right? And then within a short second, a hot second, it will approve the lens. And then once it approved, and can put our old demo here, you have the ability to share it. So there's two ways to share it, like we had mentioned before. The code, which under the share button, it'll pop up, so you just click copy, and you can put that on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, anywhere you like. And the last thing, you have a snap code, which is what uh, Snap's kind of universal sharing language is. All you have to do is open up your Snapchat application, point it towards the snap code, hold and scan. And that will trigger uh, the process of triggering the, the lens. And then all you have to do is either, you know, use it yourself or there's a prompt to say, send to friends and you can blast it to all your friends. And that's how you can share and distribute your lenses. Um, so yeah, that's a quick, easy step for you to make lenses without um, creating new assets with what's given to you in Lens Studio. I, I think that's pretty straightforward. That's pretty simple. What if you want to make something like a mask? Can you show me like the super easy way to make a mask? If uh, let's say we had made a graphic or maybe even within Lens Studio, can you show me what that might look like? If I just wanna, like to, to me that's like the most simple way to do something yeah, in AR, the, yeah. or the, like it's the most common way. So if I made like a little mask, can you just show me the, the quick steps for that? Sure, sure. So masks are like, like a 2D face paint, right? Kind of right, idea, right, right. Face paint. If we're right. using the language of uh, of Snapchat. Right. So this is the amaz amazing thing why we love Snap. Snapchat has templates. So if you look at the templates, we can look for a face paint template. So we just open that up. Uh, and what I'm I'm actually what I'd like to do, can you make a Chris Doe one? Can we find a, a if we Google search Chris Doe's face? Oi. Yeah. Can we right. put his face on top of yours? All right, all right. This is how it's I, I really want to do this. This is how it's going to go. This is how it's going to go. This, See, you know, like we have all this amazing technology at our fingertips and we're using it for the dumbest things. No, this is the best thing. Right? It is the this best is thing. The best. Oh, this is a perfect is straight perfect. on photo straight of Chris. Straight on photo of Chris. All right. I'm oh my gosh. Safe If there's an angry ass. one, that's better. Maybe I'll do this after if we can find an right, angry Chris low. photo. All right. So when you open up, the face paint template, you kind of have the same layout in Lens Studio. You have all these sprites and kind of like um, things that they already made for you. So you can see in the paint here, it's what is happening on my face. So if you open up mm -hmm. bird, you get like a bird, you get open a flower. Okay. So these are just different templates that they've, they've provided preset for you. For you. Right, gotcha. Right. Oh, so this is all 2D. So this is a 2D way of looking at the face mesh. And then they've just dropped this graphic on there. And then when you see in the real time here on the right side, that's what's um, kind of mapped around your face. Yep, totally. So in Lens Studio, what they do with face paints is that they flatten everything out to a 2D image. So essentially, it's like a 2D image of a face track out. You can see here that mm -hmm. you cut out in Photoshop or whatever, mm -hmm. and just replace that. You look and, so beautiful right there, you know, Frank. I'm gonna look You got the lipstick way, on? You're gonna look way cooler way now. Way cooler gonna... when Chris is part of the story. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Yikes. I'm gonna import. We're gonna Chris dough you out. We need a, like a fancy title for that or tag for that. Just do it. Just do it. Oh man, just do it. This is gonna be the best. So you're loading the photo that we just downloaded online. Oh, Google Chris search, Doe. Right, so Chris Doe. Is... <laughs> All right, this is gonna be fantastic. Um, I have no idea how this is gonna work because I don't know if this is gonna look funny or just like. <laughs> oh, this... <laughs> okay, let's let's scale this. Let's... So, uh, okay, okay, okay. So you got okay. an image. Okay, um, okay, hold on. And it looks super goofy right now on the real time. But... So. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's take his, off this. This is his idea, okay? Yeah. Okay, so in so the oh. reason, so if you look at 
Uh, so so when I when I imported it, you see how in the issue here, it doesn't recognize that it has a face. So you can, it's mapping right. the whole image, right? right? So what in Lens Studio on the bottom, you can see there's three tabs, symmetrical mode, detect face, and reset point. So what you always have to do is click. So what I did was go to face, face paint, the one that they had the face paint on the template. I replaced the texture with the crystal image as it downloaded from the web. Uh -huh. And that's why you have the issue because they recognize the whole square, right? So since if you have a face, what Lens Studio does is that it can detect that face and then crop everything else and just put it on you. So I'm gonna click that. <laughs> Dude. Wait. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Uncanning, right? I am now Crystal. That's the most I've seen Chris smile before. And most hair I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have, I'm, I'm, I'm beautiful Crystal, you know? Now I'm, I, I wanna, you know, I like that and I wanna share this and maybe scare some of my friends. So I'm gonna push it. <laughs> to my phone. So now it pops up on my phone. I'm gonna load it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm Chris. No. <laughs> Later we're gonna get a shot of you sitting in his office with that. Office. With that, so now, yeah. This is perfect. Right, so now within a couple, <laughs> his lips are really red. <laughs> Just so photo. within a couple of seconds, I've taken an image online of Christo, imported it, and just detect the face accordingly and it maps all the way to my own face. And you can see how I like. That's very good. I know it's a low fidelity, low Low fidelity, but it- We grab? Right, it masses, it moves with your mouse, so like. Wow. And that's all done in Lens Studio. So you see, I didn't do any coding. I didn't do any sort of like um, writing or anything. I just told the program that there's a face in this image. Please attach that image to my face, right? right. And does that automatically. Um, so I know we got a little goofy here, but I mean, this is a very simple way that if you were to design, let's say if you're a character designer and you're designing masks for your character, you could already repurpose something that you've designed and just import it in as a 2D thing. Snap Studio will do all the work for you and map it out. Obviously there's plenty of tools here to finesse this and make this look really awesome. And for the rest of you guys who like poop and fart jokes, you could do stuff like this. You guys can make your own funny filters yep. and maybe you guys can make your own crystal, crystal. filters. So let me recap this for you guys. If you guys wanna make your own snap lenses, you can either import your own creations or use Snap Studio by itself. Then you can manipulate all the different properties within Lens Studio here. You can build and test and see a live version of that within the platform and push it to your phone. And then when you're ready to go, you just hit publish, send that out and share that with your friends. And hopefully we can make this Chris Doe uh, filter, this snap lens go viral. So those are the, the big steps. Hopefully this is a good introduction for you guys on what Snap Studio is capable of doing. We'd love to see your creations. I don't know the best way for you guys to share it yet. I mean, maybe we'll start a Snapchat uh, account just for this and you guys can share it with us or um, just tweet it to us at the future is here and we'll get to see all of your guys' creation. Uh, maybe uh, there's a little special prize for whoever makes the most creative Chris Doe filter uh, oh. lens, uh, snap lens out there. Uh, I, I'll, I'll give you guys something special. So um, I'm excited to see what you guys make. Uh, Frank, thanks so much for helping us out. If people want to find more about you, where can they find you? Yeah, um, so we're on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat, all is at Paper Triangles. Um, so if you follow us there, we do a lot of posting on what we, you know, about Lens Studio, about AR. Um, we're constantly sharing other works and other creators. So follow us and if you want to, you know, reach out, go for it. Hopefully you guys can learn something today. Um, uh, and go make your own like crystal lenses. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you guys like this content, let us know in the comments section below if you guys want to learn more about AR or VR, just some of these new and different mediums that are popping up for creators and designers. Let us know because this is exciting. It's cool for me to see this uh, software uh, come to play, this platform that I'm not very familiar with. It seems fairly easy for me to port over my skills. Uh, let us know if this is something you're more interested in learning. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you value this content because it really helps us out. So with that, uh, we'll be taking off and see you guys on the next one. Thanks, everyone. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, guys. Oh, did you see that? I can't. Oh, my.